This video will show RubyHawk's slice and dice analytical capability. We'll start with a standard report. Expand the record selection and the columns shown. Now we can analyze the information. One question might be, what is the total sales by company? We could filter this with a parameter, but let's slice this information into a pie chart. You can now see the number of records per company. We usually analyze on more than just a count, so double click outside the pie and change the aggregation from count to sum. Then tell it what to sum up. We're now presented with a slightly different pie chart, showing the monetary values and percentage of sales as we mouse over any slice. We can drill down further. For a specific company, sum up the sales by item. Then, for any item, the sales by customer for that item. So we have drilled down from the top level, by company, by item, and now sales by customer. Let's drill down on a customer and expose the records behind the summary. The drill down path acts as a filter. These are the sales of Falcon SSD to retro stores from Wantastic. To take this one step further, we can drill down by year, which is derived from the date. Once we have a specific year, we could drill down into any month and see the details for that particular month. The back arrow will navigate us back to the previous summary levels. RubyHawk's Slice and Dice is rather versatile, so you can change from a pie chart to a bar chart from the Options dialog. With a bar chart, we can add a second axis showing the count of anything really, since it's just a count. We now see two aggregations per company the sum of orders and also the sum of records. As we drill down into one company, we can now see the same aggregations for item. Then let's summarize the annual sales for a particular item. Then let's summarize by agent. Then referral source. And show the details of the summary. This concludes the introduction to the many ways you can slice and dice in RubyHawk.